Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, in the last few tutorials, we were seeing about uh, report writing. Now, uh, as I promised earlier, we will definitely have uh, a few videos on how to make your own th template for a report or a thesis in the upcoming videos. But before that, uh, I thought of finishing up uh, some in very important, very important uh, things which com which becomes useful and handy for you guys okay and some some topics which becomes useful and handy for you guys and one of them is uh, writing source code in your file uh, sometimes uh, what happens is that uh, you may have to provide a source code or some kind of algorithms or let's say you're writing uh, a technical document with a lot of source code in built in then like a manual for LaTeX let's say or a manual for Ubuntu or manual for how to use shell programming or something of that sort okay and let's say if you're writing a book or writing a thesis and you want to post uh, a small fragment of a code in your document then in those cases uh, you might uh, you it might be necessary for you to you know include uh, programs uh, into the file now one one thing most people do is that they just copy up the contents and just put it just like that in the source code that's a crude way to do it well I, if you ask me that uh, ask me that's actually a crude way but it works but you know the thing is uh, there is a better way to do it okay and we're going to see those options today first thing is that today we'll see about verbatim and uh, and there's other added to that there's one more advanced feature called as listing okay and uh, we'll see how those two options work today okay first let's look at verbatim suppose if you just want to uh, write some source code uh, just a few sample lines of source code in your document then the command that you should is you should uh, use is called as verbatim now let me explain this with a small example over here okay now uh, what you have to do is that just begin a verbatim environment okay and end the end of a bottom environment and inside it write all your source code okay in lines just copy them paste them the thing is if you do not use verbatim and just copy the <coughs> copy the codes and everything just like that what happens is that latex will have its own style formatting okay and if those style formatting are in uh, and those style formatting are kind of intersecting with the style formatting of the language you use for example uh, percentage sign is used as a comment in LaTeX okay percentage sign is also used as a comment in MATLAB and MATLAB that's another programming language sometimes certain reserved symbols like backslash or uh, or a bracket is actually a part of uh, the la uh, is actually a part of uh, an important specifier or a key symbol in other languages reserved symbol in other languages so that might come in that might disturb your program and as a reason if you just put them in you may just end up with a lot of errors to avoid that latex has an option called as verbatim and what this verbatim does is that between the end verbatim and the begin and verbatim okay just copy down the code and if you copy down the code in between these two environment in within the, inside this environment your latex symbols will be deactivated will be deactivated in the in, in the within these two regions and here this provides you with a simple uh, formatting that you can use for uh, writing code so if I were to compile this and build this and they check check it out um, if I can just zoom it up for you you can see clearly the font that has been used over here and the font that has been used over here are ent quite entirely different okay and if you see this looks more like uh, a computer typed uh, content okay now now uh, let's go about with it and make a little more uh, let's uh, let's not keep this one now let's uh, let's see how verbatim does a little more better now what we do is that I just have a source code file open over here okay it is from my uh, Python tutorial series which I have okay there's a file called as od underscore solve one pi where i just wrote how to solve an ordinary differential equation so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to copy all this copy all this and then paste it 
instead of this print hello world I'm going to paste it inside this uh, verbatim option you can clearly see that the, there is a there's a big color change over here let's see how this turns out to be over here okay now if I were to zoom out this a bit you see the font has changed through throughout this code and if you see this this the, the entire code has been pasted and uh, it it looks as if it's 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 a uh, have written a program in it okay now uh, one key difference thing is that the font changes and other than that well if you know if you look at this in a critical manner um, the fonts are fine nice but there is no coloring now if you have to write a program now uh, just to give an example if you, this is the this is the Python program I wrote, and if you see, it bec it's very much uh, legible and easy to understand because we have a lot of color. The colors, the syntaxes are colored, and as a reason, you are able to understand. Okay, uh, I know what's going on here, what's going on here, and you're able to understand it much better. Won't it be nice if your rendering also rendering in the LaTeX also gets colored? Yes, that will be very good, isn't it? And besides, let's say I just want a little more of uh, fancy features like putting line numbers over here or put a box around it. And those kind of features might make um, your source code appear a little more better and nice, isn't it? Now, we'll see how to do that. Now, the verb the problem with verbatim is that uh, you may not have those features. Like, I think you have, but uh, it may not support a, lo a large number of features. But fortunately and thankfully, we have another option called as listings. Now, listings is another da uh, source code writing environment in LaTeX wherein it allows you to write the source code, okay, with a little with with more with lot more options, okay. And to use that, you just have to install a package called as listings, and uh, include this package and on the and on the preamble with preamble as shown be as shown here. You just use just type backslash use package and inside list uh, include listings okay and this is necessary for using listing commands and we'll show we'll go that in a moment first okay what you do is that uh, let me copy this cut this and let me paste it over here okay now what hap check what happens there you have it now this is the le uh, listing environment and the command to start a listing is uh, begin lsd listing it might be it smell it might spell a little different but that's how it is okay uh, you just start uh, this com uh, environment does exactly the same as verbatim but it gives you a little more features okay now first thing is that uh, you can set the language okay uh, the language name here we d here the verbatim does it does not have a language name so you just uh, print it as it is just print it as it is whereas in listing i guess you have an option to set the language name and then i set this frame to be single now what does this frame means is this is as follows you see this box you see this box or uh, around this print hello world this box is comes from because of this frame now if i were to remove this frame okay and build this again check this out the frame goes away so that frame kind of makes it a little fa makes it a little fancy now let's see let me uh, let's see if there's a double frame possibly um, apparently nope apparently it's just mixed so not a problem I'll just keep the single frame that's enough for me by the way if you guys know any other frame options do let me know and by putting it in the comment that will be good for me that'll be useful for me anyway okay that's about it and uh, now you might ask me hey what's the big difference what's the big deal this is just uh, printed nicely here and it's printed with a diff slightly different font okay and uh, I did notice that uh, I did notice that the print command which is actually a, um, a part of a part of Python is actually bolded other than what's a big deal it's not much uh, it's not much useful I can just use verbatim right yeah now I'll tell you how how big how important this will be in a moment what we do is that we let let me just copy all this let me just copy all this and paste it over here check this out now if you see now if you see all the major keywords are actually bolded all the major keywords are bolded the comments are actually uh, slightly intended 